workers warned us about disaster like this. I heard firsthand months ago about the corporate practice of precision scheduled railroading. Precision scheduled railroading is uh, shorter staff, longer hours, longer trains, less safety, less maintenance. Do I have all that right? Oh, you got it all right. I okay. mean, a, a lot of the derailments that you're seeing on national TV is one of a few things. It's lack of maintenance on the track, where they've cut the track gangs too short and they can't get out to fix it, or they've cut the Carmen's, which is the union that works on the rail cars. So uh, we have one derailment here in northeast Ohio where a wheel flange was very thin. It picked a switch and derailed the entire train. Luckily, it was full of candle wax and not something highly volatile. Rail workers tried to strike over this stuff, but were stopped by Congress. A few weeks later, and here we are. Several Norfolk Southern cars of toxic, highly volatile chemicals exploded fantastically in the tiny town of East Palestine, Ohio, 20 miles from where I grew up. So I met Clyde in East Palestine to ask him about it. It looks like a faulty bearing uh, caused a catastrophic derailment. These railroads are turning profits hand over fist. They've cut their workforce to bare bones, and now they're paying the price for it because the wheels are falling off the train, basically. Carmen were inspecting cars about three minutes per car. That's always been the industry standard. Now it's 90 seconds per car. Is that because of PSR? Yes. It's a rush job right now. And these guys are under pressure. I mean, they're working men and women. And, you know, if they don't hurry up and get this car done, they're going to be fired. Great points. So I went to a press conference with Norfolk Southern and Ohio Governor Mike DeWine to ask them about this. What could precision scheduled railroad have to do with the axle failure that caused the derailment? I have no idea that it's a mechanical issue. Rail, precision scheduled railroading is a management process. Not a great answer, and that's probably because Norfolk Southern let a worker take the fall rather than a single corporate executive showing up in the town that they polluted to be held accountable. You see, Wall Street owns Norfolk Southern. 74% of shares are owned by a who's who of... <laughs>